What's up? It's Andy here from Banshee Boat. Today's topic is how to launch a small boat. We've got some great tips and tricks to make sure everything runs smoothly. Stay tuned. Woo! Banshee Boat, baby! Are you good? Close. Banshee Boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boarding safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always place up on the water. All right, so first thing we're going to do is make sure everything is ready to go before taking your boat to the boat launch. Park your boat in the parking lot first, and if your boat has a cover, take that off and load your boat full of all the supplies that you're going to need for the day your uh, towels, food, water, sunscreen, fishing equipment, bags of clothes and supplies. Uh, refer to our top five videos. Um, we have a top five tips series, so you can refer to that. We have some great tips and uh, tricks and some important items to remember when you go boating. Uh, it's much easier to launch your boat when everything is organized. Once your boat is loaded, take your boat and slowly back it into the boat ramp. Uh, I've heard of some people actually unhooking the front crank from their boat prior to going down to the boat launch. This is a big mistake because the boat can still move and potentially slide off the trailer and land on the ground. That would not be good. If you have another person with you to enjoy the boarding experience, ask them if they wouldn't mind being your spotter to help you back up and then um, you're going to avoid any problems that way and uh, you, have, you can have some eyes at the back of your boat uh, while you're backing it up and you can kind of make sure everyone's out of the way. Because that could be a problem sometimes. People uh, get in the way from backing up a boat. Uh, people that just uh, are there on vacation and just want to uh, stand in the boat launch and just check out the view. So the best way in my opinion to safely launch the boat is to physically stand in the water and unhook the boat. If you have a nice dock set up like this one here, um, I found it was the easiest way to just tie a rope on and uh, I'm going to run a long rope. I can actually walk over to the dock and uh, I can just pull the boat over with the rope simply that way. And uh, we can be really gentle on the boat. and. Everything runs smoothly. So what I'll just do is just tie the boat onto the dock, secure it, make sure everything's good. Uh, Emily will usually get in uh, the boat or I'll wait with the boat. She'll park the vehicle or I'll park the vehicle and then uh, we're good to go. So it's basically the same procedure for removing the boat from the water. We're going to back up our trailer uh, slowly and carefully into the boat launch. I keep a fairly long rope to be able to walk down the dock and into the ramp. I have a much better control when I'm down in the water with the boat. You don't want to take a risk and potentially break something. Sometimes you might have to drive the boat straight at the trailer and when the bow is close to the winch, attach the hook from the winch to the eyelet in front of your boat. Always use caution when working in this area as well as have proper footing because it may be slippery. So I usually just have a really long rope. I walk the boat over nice and gently. I don't mind getting in the water because uh, you can just have better control with the boat and you can just make sure it goes in smoothly and softly. When I get the boat back to the parking lot, I use this as an opportunity to get the boat organized, drain the boat, potentially clean the boat and remove uh, seaweed and uh, debris from the boat. 
Then I will install the boat cover. I'll do a quick light check. Uh, check the trailer lights, check the wheels, uh, check the license plate, make sure the boat is fully secured, double check my trailer attachments, uh, and then um, we're basically good to go. It might be a good idea to have a checklist to remember uh, to do everything before you leave. Now, always remember to drain your boat and uh, clean your boat because you don't want to bring um, um, anything a species from a, a different lake to another lake and infect another lake with that same problem. So it's always very important to clean your boat and you could technically get a ticket for not cleaning your boat. So always make sure your boat's clean, there's no seaweed, there's no debris, there's no zebra mussels, there's nothing on your boat, looks great, drained, and um, your boat's nice and clean. It might be a good idea to have a checklist just so you remember everything because it is a lot especially for new to boating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment about your favorite part of the video and um, put your notifications on because we got more great content coming out almost every day. Boom, baby.